In a scary Halloween movie, monsters, ghouls, and haunted houses can give you the creeps. Those are, of course, just made-up stories meant to frighten you. But have you ever thought about space? To understand these giant distances, empty and cold, but at the same time, full of planets, stars, and many things unknown. All available evidence points to the fact that the universe is open and it is ceaselessly expanding. The region between our home planet and everything else in the universe is full of untold wonders, celestial objects so big they boggle the mind, and some are truly catastrophic events. Welcome to Space Nomad, and in this video, let us have a look at some haunting images that might keep you awake at night. The hand may appear to be an x-ray from the doctor's office, but it is actually a cloud of debris blasted from an exploding star. The structure, seen in blue, was observed in energy x-rays for the first time by NASA's New Star mission. Green and red represent low-energy x-ray radiation detected previously by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. A spooky skull-shaped asteroid is floating around in space. On October 30, 2015, the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico caught a radar photograph of this asteroid dubbed 2015 TB145, which NASA believes is a dead comet. On Halloween night, this asteroid cruised within 301,986 miles or 486,000 kilometers of our planet, just 1.25 times the Earth-Moon distance. This Pac-Man Nebula grows teeth to chomp on space. A new view of the Pac-Man Nebula reveals a gaping mouth and a set of sharp-looking teeth taking a bite out of space. The Pac-Man Nebula is a giant cloud of dust and gas located approximately 9,200 light-years away within our own Milky Way galaxy. Its official name is NGC 281, but the nebula earned a more popular nickname because of its resemblance to the character from the hugely popular Pac-Man video game that was first released in 1980. This evil eye-shaped nebula, formerly named Fomalhaut, strikes an eerie resemblance to the fearful Eye of Sauron from the Lord of the Rings series. In the books, Tolkien described the eye as being rimmed with fire, watchful and intent, and the black slit of its pupil opened up on a pit, a window into nothing. Astronauts probing the deepest mysteries of the universe are getting help from zombie stars. This zombie star named Tycho was once a white dwarf or the remnants of an exploding supernova. The dead star gobbled up too much mass from another nearby star and exploded again in what's called a Type IA supernova. Such cosmic zombies, officially known as Type IA supernovas, are helping scientists study dark energy, the mysterious stuff thought to make up three-quarters of the universe and to be responsible for its accelerating expansion. A giant black widow is lurking in the Milky Way, spawning young and zapping its surroundings with intense radiation. Hanging just above the galactic plane, the Black Widow Nebula is a cloud of dust gas and stars about 10,000 light years from Earth. The nebula is nearly invisible at optical wavelengths, hidden behind a web of dust spun from the galaxy's disk. But NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope used its infrared array camera to peer through the haze. It has captured wispy streams of dust, flowing like spider legs from the center of the nebula, where massive young stars are forming. Though we have yet to find any aliens on Mars, 
NASA did discover this creepy human face on the neighboring red planet. The original Face on Mars image was taken by NASA's Viking 1 orbiter in grayscale on July 25, 1976 in the Cydonia region. NASA assures that the face is simply a peculiar pile of rocks, but that doesn't make it any less spooky. A witch appears to be cackling out into space in this eerie image from NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or WISE. The infrared portrait shows the Witch Head Nebula, named after its resemblance to the profile of a wicked witch. The constellation Orion, accompanied by the Witch Head Nebula, rises from the eastern horizon before midnight on Halloween. This lengthy nebula spans 70 light years across and lies 900 light years from Earth. The nebula is extraordinarily faint, at magnitude 13, so it can only be spotted with large telescopes. So, what are your thoughts on this Halloween celebration going on in space? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching Space Nomad. If you liked the video, do give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel for more such exciting videos every week.